the biggest news, uh, the uh, rich getting richer in uh, Rich Harden going to the first place Cubbies. Oh, that is catchy. Uh, you know, I talked about this yesterday, and I said, look, Kerry Wood, Mark Pryor, we know about the past with this team. Wouldn't it just be unfortunate uh, or ironic, if you want to say, uh, don't you think, about him going down here? But if he stays healthy, guys, what does it mean? Well, pain. If, if he stays healthy, I mean, if is the middle word in life, Casey, and if is, if is the that story for the Cubs right now. I should have made Von Spielbergen right there. I actually made that up myself, <laughs> myself or Rudyard Kipling. But uh, you know, Harden is having an unbelievable year this year. Just been on an absolute tear since uh, since coming off the DL. But that's the key right there. Can they keep him healthy? The A's have really, really babied him, and I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing. They've been better off pulling him after six innings, pulling him after 95 pitches or whatever, not pushing him at any point since he's come off the DL so they could keep him healthy. Now that they've traded him to the Cubs, the Cubs are in a pennant race. Obviously, they had to keep track with the Brewers getting Sabathia. There's going to be a lot more temptation to run him out there for that extra inning, those extra few pitches. And Lou Pinella is not a guy. I mean, look. This was my quote yesterday. The only way to get rid of a temptation to yield to it. Lou Pinella is a guy who lives that too. The temptation is going to be to run Harden out there for a lot of extra pitches, a lot of extra innings. And you've got to be very worried about Pinella's ability to resist that temptation. Uh, you know, I, I see where you're coming with this, but this is what really made this trade for me from the Cubs angle, which is why I absolutely love it. Chad Gordan. Because now they also got a 25-year-old guy who can, way, who can start. They got an insurance policy. They got an insurance policy for Rich Harden in the deal, and I really don't think they gave up that much. Now, we'll find right. out about Merton, Gallagher, Patterson, and the fourth guy. But, I mean, really, did they really give up that much? Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I don't like this deal no, for the Cubs. I, I, I love lo- the deal. I love the deal even more. Even if they didn't get Gordan, I'd love the deal. I love, love the deal because they got Gordan. That's your insurance policy for Rich Harden yeah. and makes Gallagher expendable. And you look at it from the, from the A's standpoint, you know, who's the best player they got? Gallagher is a nice prospect. Merton's a nice bat, but he's 26. Yeah. He's a platoon hitter. Eric Patterson has the bat for second base, but he can't play second base. He can't handle right. it defensively. So where are you going to put him? The catcher is, is doing nothing in the Midwest yeah. League. So like Yeah, Donaldson. So... You know, is this a case of the A's just saying, you know what, now's our chance to trade this guy and let's take advantage of the opportunity while we can. What are they going to hang their hat on in three years when it's all said and done? If Harden blows out his arm, they right. laugh all the way to the bank. But if Harden helps get the Cubs get to the World Series, then, you know, the A's are going to have a lot of explaining to yeah, do. And if, yeah, I was just going to say, Mike.